So the 21W148 snapshot just released and in my opinion it's a pretty controversial one. So let's get straight into it. So the main changes to the game are there are now raw, raw versions of iron, copper and gold. Now in my opinion I don't see how these could exactly be useful but we'll get into the reasons why Mojang add them in a minute. But firstly the textures. I kind of like the gold one, but I feel like it looks a bit too similar to coal and charcoal. Well, it's especially stuff like coal, you can see how like similar they are. And someone who is colorblind, like they were adding, they were changing the textures of like gold and coal ore and stuff, um, so that colorblind people could tell them apart. But now I think they've just gone and undone that because. Say if someone couldn't actually tell the difference between these two, which I, there might be someone like that. Um, these two look very similar, as you can see. So I feel like Mojang might want to change the texture of the gold or coal. Um, just so they look a little bit more different. I don't like. I specifically don't like the iron one. The copper one, I mean, it looks like Haribo Sweet, but... I mean, it looks alright, and then gold looks pretty good. But so now we're going to actually get into the rest of the stuff, as well as the reasons why they add this. So basically, uh, obviously they added the raw copper, iron, and gold items, and now tough blobs can be can now be add, found between heights 0 and 16. So the reason why they put spellable ore drops in is to prevent cluttering the in inventory, which, to begin with, it wasn't really cluttering the inventory, because both of them are going to be stackable by 64. And also to have consistency with fortune. Now, all of these have things that mean they don't really need fortune. For example, gold. Gold armor, swords, and tools. They're all pretty rubbish because their um, like durability is t completely terrible. O obviously, you know, you have gold and apples and they are pretty good. So I could see why you need fortune for them. But other than that, you don't really need gold that much. And the other two, I just think you don't really need fortune at all. For example, iron, um, it's such a not rare thing. You can lit It's so common, you can pretty much get it in every cave. Um, which is why I just don't think you need it for, need fortune for iron. And copper really doesn't have any uses whatsoever. Like at the moment you can't craft armor or any tools or anything. Um, all you can do is the lightning rod, the spyglass and the blocks that you can make. If they don't add stuff like armor, I won't really see the point of having fortune. And then, obviously, from old worlds, if you play the snapshot on old worlds, you can still smelt the ore blocks. And also, you can get the ore blocks with silk touch, but obviously, that's such a rare enchantment. And then finally, fully oxidized copper can now be waxed. And then there was just a bunch of bug fixes as well. So, pretty small snapshot and pretty, like, not significant changes. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!